Welcome back to the Wednesday Night War. So, this Wednesday Night War is going to be a little bit different because of the COVID-19 uh, outbreak <laughs> and stuff like that. We uh, Different shows are going to be, you know, uh, very slim. And this may actually be our last Wednesday Night War because we don't know what it's going to bring with AEW next week because, like I said, more stuff is closing as they're trying to keep pre pre prevent this from, thing from spreading. NXT tonight had a recap show. Once again, could they have could they have put somebody in the audience? I mean, could they have uh, did like a, a wrestling show match, stuff like that? Yeah, but it, we're seeing that the empty arena matches, at least for WWE's case, is just not working. And Yeah, I don't know what they, I don't know what it is, but they just not getting it. Right, yeah. so they're just doing a recap. Yeah, they're doing a recap, and on top of that, it's also um, you also people don't understand. You got to keep your wrestlers safe as well. So, with with that being said, AEW hosted their first uh, empty arena show in Jacksonville, Florida, which is their headquarters. So, a lot of things in Florida, y'all still got everything, but we have nothing. <laughs> so, I I don't know. I mean, uh, they kind of like just built an arena out of nowhere. So I mean, they they own it. So it's like, why as well? We can't yeah. have it nowhere in the government like uh thing. Mm -hmm. so, so I don't. Why as well have it somewhere where we own? So I don't know um where y'all number of tested positive people are at because up here, you know, what I'm saying we kind of got a lot. So I'm guessing y'all can still go down there and still do these kind of things. Yeah, they, like if we, if they if they was allowing people to go, then yeah, I'm pretty sure people would have went. I would say because it's technically not, you know, because up here we got like a in Pennsylvania, we have like 150 cases. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, so so I don't think it's like in I don't think it's in like Orlando or Jacksonville or like um like Pensacola or stuff like that. I don't think it is. At least yeah, but everybody hasn't got tested yet either, so. You know, there you have it. So, to, so once again, so today there will be not no no talking about NXT because, like I said, it's just a, just a basic recap show and getting them geared up for the arena Russell the arena WrestleMania. And uh, so, but right now let's talk about AEW on the Wednesday Night War. So Cody uh, is in. Well, well, first of all, Tony Giovanni is uh, interview MJF at ringside and. Uh, I'm, skip, I'm, I'm skipping ahead. Okay, I, I'm sorry. I'm trying to go first. Cody starts to show off first, uh, and talk about what everybody says is not one to live in fear of the global pandemic. Uh, which is, you know, talk about needing the elite to be elite at blood and guts. So they're still planning on having that show whenever they can. And the reason why I said that people once again, there's empty arenas, but once again, it's up to the city in the state if they want to close these things down because it's not essential and i already know up here in like i said if, if the performance center was in philly or wherever AEW is wrestling empty rings in philly they would not be able to do anything because we closed down all non-essential things up here so i don't like i said now let me ask you a question then let me ask you a question yeah what if they have it at matt hardy's house his house is huge this man got like acres worth of House. Yes, I mean that's fine. It's his compound. He he. That's what I'm saying. Like, can they, the government can't do anything if they would decide to have no. AEW at Matt Hardy's house. No, if they okay. want, if they want to have uh, do AEW matches or they want to do a show from the Hardy compound and do it all like that, that's fine. And you, which, which you, by regulation, you're going to have to get some kind of medical setup because you don't want to get Matt sick and Revy or them kids sick. You know what I'm saying? Also, you got to take all that consideration because, and I guarantee if, if Matt Hardy's open for that, he will just have, like, you know, if they can get, like, if Tony Khan can get a, a medical staff out there and to see if he can get their, their superstars tested, and then if, if most of the AEW roster is negative, then yeah, but because you probably got somebody that's positive, you know, uh, positive, they have to stay away and they can do the show that way. So, I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to that. Okay. So, 
Uh, Matt Jackson and Kenny Omega come to the ring. He says, I need, you know, the old Kenny Omega and then, you know, Matt Jackson and Jackson. And then he talked about uh, Omega's like, you know, how scary the real world situation is and how there might not even be a dynamite next year. That's what I was talking about. Because if the state of Jacksonville says, look, this is a non-essential thing, y'all can't have dynamite next week. Then they, whether it's empty arena or not, they can't have dynamite. So he said, uh, if they're going to go out, he wants to go out elite. So Jackson, you know, they call him and Page to uh, ask if, if you know had the back of blood guts. He raised his glass to them, and the elite turn out the lights. The, the, the pyro will start the show. So we are the elite going into blood and guts. It was like a rally call, which I actually like. It is. It was a rally call to do this. So, I don't think they really. I don't think the elite has fully ever been on the same page, except for like maybe after they got beat up by like Haku. <laughs> I don't know. So this is probably one of the first time they actually are close to it, just being all on the same page. Uh, exactly, I do agree with you. And you know, take some like real life serious, you know, to do this. So, uh, Tony Schiavone is interviewing MJF at ringside, and he is saying he doesn't want to wrestle. He let everybody else go out there and hurt. And uh, him and Sean Spears are gambling on the show. So what AEW did was they did have an empty arena, but but their superstars that they weren't booked for the show, such as uh uh. Sean Charles Spears, Spears MJF, and, Jeff, and then Sonny Kiss, Sonny uh, Kiss, SCU was there. I yeah, remember. and then also Jake Roberts and oh, um, what's his name? Lance Archer. Yeah, Lance Archer. They, they was out there and they added for the crowd. So I thought that was I thought that, I thought that was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, Brandy Rose goes back to her old job and she's doing some ring uh-huh. announcing. And her thing was like never would say she'd never do ring announcing again on her little thing on her. I don't know what they call it. the name. The name. Yeah, uh huh. Well, well, we we need you, girl. So <laughs> she went ring announcing, and then uh, we got Jim Ross, Excalibur, and Taz on commentary. Uh, I wish out of all the people not to come this week. Oh, uh, here you uh, go. Here you go, man. <laughs> Oh man, leave so, JR alone yeah, for the day. Let me just tell you one thing I really don't like what JR does, and he, he does it every every time they have a women's match. He he plugs the whole match. He talks about the whole match, plugging his podcast or his barbecue sauce. Literally every time, literally like as soon as the women's music hit, he was like, "Oh, well, you can go in grilling JR on every podcast app comes out tomorrow." It's like, all right, well, all right. Yeah, I, I I got I gotta really go back and listen to that then. Um, the we go and start a match with Luchador, the Lucha Bros versus the best friends. Orange Cassie mm-hmm. sat on commentary, and then they didn't uh, say anything. They, they didn't say anything at all. So uh, uh, he does hit a dive to the brothers right from the stage, doesn't he? Yeah, the referee was distracted. Yeah, yeah. But in the end, uh, the Lucha Bros win the match with a top rope double stop package power driver. And after the match, Chuck Taylor wants to have like a street fight with the Lucha Bros in the parking lot. Yeah, so that would be interesting. And whenever they decide to do that, whenever, whenever they, they do it, whenever they decide to do that, yeah. Okay, I'm here. pretty sure that uh, the Lucha Bros are win by Neville. I mean, Pop interrupting mm-hmm. or something. Exactly. So, if he's not stuck in, you know, is you, he still? In, I don't know. He might still be over there, so maybe not. Over there, where UK? Like in yeah, UK. Oh, but I didn't know he, he, he probably went over there. So if he's over there, he, he's going to be there for a minute. I thought he lived there. That's why. That's the only reason I, I saw him. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Uh, Haku, ha, Haku Rashida. Hakara Rashida. Hakara Rashida versus yep. Penelope Ford versus Rio Penelope versus, my girl. versus Chris yeah. Statlander in mm-hmm. uh, a fatal, a fatal four way matchup. And mm-hmm. once again, I mean, it got a little bit better. I did like the Poison Rider on. Um, Hakara Sheeta? Yeah, Hakara Sheeta, yeah. But uh, ultimately, uh, Sheeta uh, hits Penelope Ford with the running knee. It, it looks all right, but uh, she picks up the win here. So I don't know if this is going for the rankings or if this is going for the season go up against Nala Rose next. I don't know if she's going to go with her next, but they, like, they've been building up Hakara Sheeta, and then they, like, they'll just put somebody else in the limelight. But they was building her up, and then they put Chris Statlander in her position. Yeah, don't, and then and don't they just forget, her up again. So. Don't forget Big Swole been coming up too. Big Swole been coming up as well as uh, 
be Priestley, so. Exactly. Uh, Coco Vanna is interviewed at, at ringside, and uh, let's say everybody know that Penelope Ford would do a lot better if she didn't have Kip Saban. Uh, yeah. And then, you know, Saban and uh, Cabana had a confrontation. A little small confrontation. Like yes, yeah, so a shout out. Mox is interviewed for the parking lot, and he said he's not medically cleared to be in the arena. Uh-oh, uh-oh, look. Ew, ew. What does that mean? Not playing. Uh, I'm just saying, you know, people watch it be like, oh, wait a minute. Does he got the bug? No, but... uh. No, no. <laughs> No, but yeah. I like how he actually was in the actual parking lot, and they actually had the same car that he had from uh, that Jericho gave him. So yeah, that was nice. Yeah, we nice ate. little touch. Yeah, I like that. Jurassic Express, the Luchasaurus, and Jungle Boy <clears throat> take on the Butcher and the Blade. No bunny. So yeah. Uh, on the side you see. Probably him. just told his wife to stay home. Yeah, probably probably did. Yeah. Uh, MJF paid the Butcher. And the baby for the matchup, and uh, in the orders, uh, decent matchup here. Once again, the 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 Lucha source is growing on me. The big guy that can yeah. move like that. <laughs> By the way, if I'm MJF, I'll be mad that I'm losing so much money. Why am I paying y'all? Y'all lose every match. Yo, I have not seen the Butcher and Blade win one match, <laughs> let, let alone protect the people that they got to got to destroy. I haven't seen it. Yeah, I don't know why you keep paying them, but they'll never do do their job. But you know. Exactly. So uh, the ma- uh, once again, Jurassic Express first win, win the matchup, and I was like, okay, well, there it is, what it is. The Dark Order comes to the ring. Screw the Dark Order. Uh, <laughs> to announce the identity of the Exalted One. So there have been rumors of who it could be, who people want it to be. Blah 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 blah. And uh, let, me, let me just tell you for one, okay? Remember when uh, last, one week where. We saw Raven in the background, and they didn't even acknowledge him. And then, like, at the beginning of this promo, when they showed it, it was like Raven's flying. I was like, oh, my God, don't let it be Raven. Please don't let it be Raven. You know, that would have been such a flop. Don't get me wrong. I am a fan of Raven, and Raven is a really good wrestler, but Raven is old. He's too old to do anything, though. Exactly. Ra- Raven is old. This is not Raven from 98. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. this is not that kind of Raven. This ain't even Raven from TNA. So, mm-hmm. It, those days are done, but Raven was really good, though. But Raven's too old. Uh, they get interrupted by SCU. Uh, Screw the Dark Order. Yes. <laughs> I love that video, dude. I really do. Uh, but they reveals, uh, it's me, Austin. Okay, it wasn't. Uh, then Brody Lee, for people who don't know who that is, Luke Harper from uh, WWE is the exalted one. It kind of did botch it a little bit. But uh, I, don't, I don't think it's their fault. I mean, it's kind of production people' fault. Are we really going to count botches on a day like this? No, I'm saying no. I'm saying because like when they panned it out, they show him coming out of the of the, of the stage, yeah. and then like they just <laughs> then they showed the video when they came back. And he was in the ring, so it was like they. I wish they wouldn't have did that, but yeah, okay, you're not counting botches. Yeah, I got you. Uh, so but he did say like. Hey, what did he say? He said like, "You're you're not the first out of touch old man to not believe in me, but I'm gonna make sure you're the last." So I got like that shot events. Yeah. Uh, but the Dark Order beats down SCU, so that's gonna be a rivalry uh, going forward. Screw the Dark Order. Uh, Jake Roberts and Lance Archer were at ringside. How are they gonna get Cody Rhodes' attention? And then, uh, uh, they play this weird video promo of like Luke Harper, like basically killing everybody. Yeah, <laughs> it was weird. And then the dude came up after he done beat up everybody. He was like, Yeah, I can take you on. He chokes let him on the car. So, yep, yeah, <laughs> that happened. I was just like, Well, it's like we just got no audience. Uh, main event time already. I was like, What? Uh, the inner circle, Santana, Ortiz, and Jake Hager to take on the elite Cody, Matt Jackson, and Hangman Page. Jack was on commentary, and I gotta say, he was hilarious. Now, yeah, now, uh, you gotta walk me through that because I didn't get to see all the, uh, all the match. Yeah, the match is like regular, like, um, Cody was the one that was getting beat up the whole match. So that uh, Hangman can get the hot tag. Yeah. Kind of like 
Heyman and Matt didn't want to tag with each other. Yeah. Sure. So, you know, it kind of got that uh, attention. But Cody was one kid beat up the whole match. And then they got, of course, they got the hot tag. And, you know, everything was going good. And they, they tagged Cody back in. A lot of distractions and whatnot. And Cody got rolled up. Oh, or was it Matt? Goodness. One of them got rolled up and, and uh, Ortiz, the inner circle, got the win. So they got the advantage. Oh, man. Well, but yeah, Jericho was was good on commentary. Like, I really wish he was on commentary kind of more for for in the circles matches. But uh-huh. um, yeah, after the match, you were just talking trash. Which is like, we better than you, and we yeah. <laughs> we, we got more members than you, and we never beat each other up. We always on the same page, and for some odd reason, Jack mm-hmm. Swagger did a push up, and he told Sammy Guevara to get on Jack Swagger to get on Jack Swagger's back while he does a push up. Which is odd. Yeah. I guess it was filling for time. Yeah, because I, I did see some of the ending when Jericho was just like, "Great line from a great hill from somebody else, great words." He says, "Look, I'm banning the fans from all AEW events going forward." <laughs> yes, I don't want to wrestle in front of you. <laughs> yeah, you know, I was like, that was actually funny. And then he said, "How they were in okay. the, uh, huh?" Now I was gonna tell you, I was gonna give you like a little bit of backstory of the next thing that happens. Oh, well, I, I mean, I, um, I, I do see that a certain thing flies down. Yes. On okay, so this series on YouTube called Free to Delete. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Matthew Hardy, uh, he tells Vanguard, "Go find me my next venture. Go find me my next thing to do." Uh-huh. So Vanguard goes off and he just flies away from the Cardi compound. And that's like the end of that YouTube show. And then, of course. You see, you see, Vanguard went flying into the arena. Uh huh. And then uh, Matt Jackson says, "Well, we are down one, and um, I kind of called a favor because he owes me." And then, of course, you see, broken Matt Hardy in the stands. Yes, back uh, to being broken. Yes, and he got a new, um, a new entity. He said, "So that's why he has the, the red hair, not the, the blonde." Yeah. If you notice that, yeah, so it's, it's red now, not blonde, which is uh, kind of weird. But, you know, hey. Yes, and I'm like, so Matt Hardy is here in the stands. I'm just like, man, that is uh-huh. that is good. So that's where AEW ends. So we got Brody Lee and Matt Hardy and the Elite all unifying with no people. That sucks. <laughs> yeah, well, at least it has some audience people. that those, They had the wrestlers in the house that didn't know what was planned, so that's good. At yeah. least they get some kind of reaction. So obviously AEW gets a passing grade for me tonight. Yep, passing grade. Yeah, it was it was really good. I really enjoyed. I I enjoyed what they did with the with, with the things that they have. So once again, we don't know what next week is going to bring. So we don't know if there's going to be in another AEW show because look, you say say thing with WWE at the, at the Performance Center, you think. They're going to keep, look, it's all part of the plan. So, we're we already talking about that on the podcast, so I'm just saying. But uh, if they're here for AEW next week, which is the Blood and Guts date, we'll talk about it. We'll review it. Mm-hmm. And if, if they're not, we got to wait till, we gotta wait till further notice. So, you know, in the words like John Q, it's, it's not goodbye, it's see you later. So, eventually, eventually we'll, 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 we'll get out of this. Just one more time. <laughs> Can you do your Bible sex in the pressure? Okay, man. So, if you want to see us review AW next week, give me a hell yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, that is hilarious. Hey, guys, man. All right, well, we, we got to move on. Yeah, we got to move on. Yeah, we got to move on. Yeah, we got to move on.